Hi, have you ever driven by a woodsy area and noticed all the trash that has been left there? Or actually, it's been left in the wind and floated over there, not left in the wind, but it's been in the wind and it floated over to the wood area. Have you ever driven down into your neighborhood and seen trash thrown out the window by someone who doesn't want to take it to their house and throw it in their trash and instead throws it out the window into your neighborhood. Doing that decreases your home value, makes the neighborhood look trashy. Trashy. It doesn't, I just believe that does not take pride in the area of where you live. Cambridge Dictionary describes litter as pieces of paper and other small objects that have been thrown out or left on the ground in public places. I have driven by the local high school here in Columbia, Missouri called Hickman High School and I have noticed the amount of litter that is left from the students in the parking lot. My first thought was to blame the students. Then I started to realize that the trash receptacles were overflowing with trash. Therefore, the custodial staff needs to make sure that the trash cans are empty for the students to put the trash in and therefore it will not float in the wind over to other areas. Litter can also be harmful to so many areas of our life. One of the areas that it can be harmful in is land dwelling wildlife. I have several examples of litter and how it can be harmful for them. Ruth Ann Johnson states that birds can be poisoned by lead fishing weights and their eyes can be poked out by the hooks that are left behind when fishing. Johnson also states that skunks have been found with yogurt containers on their heads and a raccoon had beer cans on both of his hands. In the case of the raccoon, the animal had its paws in the, in the beer can so long that when he had to learn how to walk with them on there. Once the cans were removed from his hands, there was nothing but raw flesh left for this animal. And unfortunately, the animal did have to be euthanized. There are a number of actions that people can take to reduce litter and the damaging effects it has on animals. Johnson suggests avoiding the release of helium balloons at celebrations to prevent the balloons and the swallowing of them on, for, from animals. She also recommends that each of us try to use more recyclable or reusable bags instead of the plastic bags that they give to you when you are shopping. Recyclables should also be washed and packaged securely so they are not carried away by animals or they are not blown in the wind for animals to then be harmed on. Now that you know of some ways that trash can harm animals, there's also a negative impact that litter has on our water ecosystem. Aluala states plastic that is discarded improperly often finds its way to the ocean regardless of where it is deposited that also includes in urban areas. He also notes that plastic waste can trap marine creatures if it is found its way, when it finds its way to the ocean. And the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the EPA, reports that plastic in the ocean is often eaten by the fish which concentrates toxic compounds into their flesh, which then you can also eat that flesh if you are to catch those fish. The EPA adds that the plastic fills the stomachs of these fish, which causes them to starve to death because the plastic acts as a compound in their stomach and fills it up, therefore the fish thinks they are full and will not eat. 
According to Reverman, chemicals associated with litter, including those related to tobacco products, such as when people are done smoking, you often see them flick their cigarettes out the window thinking they're doing no harm to anybody. Unfortunately, these toxins can seep into the ground and thereby contaminating our water system. There are negative impacts of, there are also negative impacts that litter has on people in the area around it. I am going to give you some examples of harmful effects that litter will have on, on people. There is an organization referred to as the Conserve Energy Future that says litter cleanup is expensive and utilizes taxpayers' money. They also report that litter can spread disease. And they also state that litter can attract pests and dangerous animals, such as snakes and rats. So it's very important to pick up your litter when you see it around you to prevent these animals from being in our area. There are several ways that you can reduce litter in your area and one of those ways would be using your trash cans. When you're in the car, keep a plastic bag or a small trash can that you can throw the litter in instead of out the window. Most people's first thing is to toss it away from them. Try to keep your trash contained and in your car. When you leave the car, take your trash with you and throw it in a receptacle that is secured. Um, also, if you are in an area such as I was at Hickman High School, I should have informed the custodial staff to empty the trash receptacle so that way the trash could have made it into the trash cans instead of on the ground. I was appalled when I saw that. I drove by there today and it was impressive that there was no trash to be found in their parking lot. Now that you have known some information about litter and how you can help to reduce it, try to think about when you are in a public place that you take the time if you see litter to pick it up. It's not going to hurt you if you're sitting there waiting for a taxi or a bus or a friend to pick up the litter around you. It upsets me when I see so much litter around us in our area. There are, I know there are countless and negative effects that litter has on wildlife, both land and water, and also on people that live near litter, but there are several ways that you can help to reduce the litter in your area. Get involved. I encourage you to please get involved and utilize some of these suggestions that I have given you. Not only will the wildlife thank you, I will thank you, and your, your bodies will thank you. Thank you.